All right. I like this answer. I was going to say the, the only circumstance under which Mr. Colton would shave his beard would be its ignition. But... <laughs> ah! But I like that. And Mr. Reeves, what is your decision? Yeah. I, I love the idea that his beard is on fire and so he must run to the bathroom, start the hot water, <laughs> get, the, get the razor with the leather straps. for judgment, sir. Everybody gets three points. There you go. You know, I just want to say, I was slightly worried that we wouldn't be able to fill the time. What was I thinking? <laughs> All right, as you know. I already see old people coming in. For I know. So, Peter, if you could take the next five minutes and just give some sort of a timeshare presentation. That would be it. This looks really fool the normals into thinking something's <laughs> going then Jonathan's beard will ignite. <laughs> As you know, Mr. Colton achieved a remarkable cultural crossover uh, with his hit song for the video game Portal Still Alive. Yeah. This, this expanded his audience from the geeks to the gaming geeks. Uh, and I want you all, the teams here, to name his next big crossover hit, the song that has been commissioned, that he will write, and you will hear it over the end credits for Transformers 3, The Dark of the Moon. Jonathan, the Jonathan song for Transformers 3. Is that, by the way, is that the correct, because his husband gave me this the other day, and I didn't, is it, is it Transformers 3, colon, The Dark of the Moon? Yeah, okay. I think it's just Dark of the Moon. You sounded pissed. It's called A Dark of Moon. A Dark of Moon. No. Trans what? By the way, uh, well, wait a minute. So you run a Transformers wiki? Yes. You run a Transformers wiki? Nice. No plugging, please. No plugging. Um, sir, you would know full well that we have our answer that the name of the song that Jonathan is writing for the end credits is Optimus Prime Farts of Polka. All right. That's gonna be tough to beat. That's gonna be tough to beat. Alright. Go ahead. Uh, it'll be called Ha Ha Suckers You Paint to See This Shit Again. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I, I forgot to mention our subtitle for, for the song is More Riff Track Spotter. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I was able to see an advanced print of the film. Jonathan, I thought it was gonna be called Somewhere Megan Fox is Crying. <laughs> Too soon. You know, actually, that, that's the title of my next autobiographical book. <laughs> so, the, so just to, uh, I just want to hear the, the your title was. The last for there would be Optimus Prime, Prime for its Apoka. Your title was. Uh, ha, ha, suckers, you paint see this again. shit again. again. And the correct title is Baby, you can shoot my car. Just so you know. You can use that, by the way. <laughs> Ever comes by. Mr. Reese. Wesley, Wesley Crusher Crushers. That's over here to the right. The Optimus Prime Farts of Polka? Yeah. Okay. All right, very good. Wait, wait, wait. How many points? Three points. Three points. All right, one more question. One more question. This is a, this is a, uh, this is a question that requires um, uh, some physical activity, which I know is not very easy to this crowd. But uh, in the future, uh, Jonathan Colton cult members, as his, as his uh, influence both grows and becomes prohibited by law, <laughs> will greet it's each other. It's not a cult, it's a religion. Exactly. <laughs> Damn it. And we deserve tax-free status. We'll greet each other <laughs> with a gesture. What is the gesture that will indicate Colton, cult membership, Colton fandom, to, to each other? Here we go, go. I wasn't talking, do it again, sorry. I just got up. One, two, three. Uh, that's a good one. 
Yeah, we'd like to go to Hydron on this. <laughs> Famed physical comedian John Hodgman. <laughs> the pratfall master himself. One bear trap and a broom to the stage, please. It's a little known fact that Hodgman uh, got the, the final auditions up against Michael Richards for the part of Kramer on Seinfeld. You're not going to move from that chair, are you? I think he's doing it would, now. I think would I be up there? Yeah, leave this is it. Second Hodgman has been invoked. Uh, <laughs> what is he doing? This is my jazz. Or my rascal, if you prefer. My, mobile, my personal mobility device. So you're a zombie and a rat. So you're a cult. I think it's to be disabled. It's too apparent. I think it's two young women having a seamstress fight. <laughs> Designed yes. black costumes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you meet, you have to suddenly uh, sew up uh, a wacky sailor outfit with a kraken on top or something. Like that. Can you demonstrate, please? <laughs> No, I can't. He's, he's All right, so you're, for men, you're that's for the ladies. So are you accepting this to the to my right? And for the men, yeah. no, I'm sorry, uh, he's not done. Right, it's it's different for. That is not all. Uh, why are you doing this to me? Because I don't want to do it to myself. <laughs> why are you doing this to me? Because I don't want to do it to myself. Is the name of my Sharon in the Howlcats cover band. <laughs> The, no, hold on. You can, the correct answer. You, are you accepting this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, so the men will actually not greet each other, but awkwardly pass by. Yeah. Right. Yes, exactly. Avoiding any physical contact. Yeah. Yeah. The, the correct gesture of greeting, and I'm establishing this now for the future, is hand in greeting, through the hair, no product. <laughs> Wesley Crusher, Crusher Crushers, FTW. There you are. Three points. You can choose. Does anyone know what the score is right now? It's FTW to whatever you guys have. One of you sons of bitches has done the spreadsheet in your iPad, am I right? What's the score? What's the score? 14, 5, 8. Hey, so you guys have 14 over here? These guys have 14 points. They had an And I have three, and they have eight. We're just five. five. How many does Hodgman have? Hodgman is playing? No, no, no. no. Alright. That, um. We all have three. Alright. Everybody's here. That, uh. That's this whole situation is like Australian I know. So, Alright. You're leaving. Alright. That brings uh, to a close that section. It's now time for another question of actual trivia. Again, there is an answer to this question. Mr. Might and, uh, and one of you answered, and there's another Thinky gift certificate for you. This is a tough one. This is the toughest one, but I, I, I was myself astonished to learn this. Mr. Mike Furman, here to my uh, here to my starter, was born with an unusual but not obvious disability. Well, come on, you get points for knowledge, but none for politesse. May I say? A little eager, weren't you? Well, the, the question was, what was his disability? And the answer was... Now, here we have a problem. Give it to the polite people. I kept it. And the actual proper term, anosmia. Anosmia, which I like, because he knew the answer, which is... No wonder you're always smiling on this one. So, I, I, He smiled at you. Yeah. So I'm going to, Mr. Reeves, I'm going to turn to you. What do I do here? We have, we have the first answer, but we have the technical answer given in good time. I don't want to have to decide, so I'm asking you. Um, it was too anarchic just then when they jumped up. Yeah. And I got, like, that didn't work for me. 
in my current state. So whoever said the medical term, anosmia, you get the point. So congratulations. <laughs> this is true. I heard this last night. We were born without the sense of smell. Yes. Were, were your other senses, have they strengthened in comparison? Do you now have amazing sight and hearing? I think I have incredible common sense. <laughs> So really, you, you've never smelled anything? Nothing, never. You, you can't smell Colton right now. I cannot smell Colton right now. Right. When you, when you tell people about, the, about this, do they immediately start saying, well, what is this? Smell this, smell this. <laughs> everybody says, uh, the same, everybody usually jumps to, so you can't smell anything, nothing at all, not even fresh baked cookies. That's usually the first time I say, no, not even, oh, really? <laughs> and I say, no, not even fresh baked cookies, as if that's like, oh, of course I can smell fresh baked cookies. <laughs> Walk into one of those scented candle stores and just stand there on the floor. Superman in a, a, yeah. a meteor shower. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. You know, it's too bad because Jonathan smells of honeysuckle 24-7. That's why yeah. I'm here today. And, and, and right fresh baked now. cookies. And, for, yeah. uh, and then, of course, the inevitably the next one is so I can fart on you and you won't care. <laughs> to which my answer is uh, no, I will care. I said I don't have a sense of smell, I do have a sense of pride, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not your shit boy. <laughs> so, for the rest of the day, feel free to thrust your underarm into Mike Furman's face. <laughs> Test him <them> out. <laughs> because that's somehow less horrible than farting on it. But in my world, a fart is awesome. Because they sound funny, they feel great. I say, if you come next to me and fart, rock on. I have no, I have actually no problem with that. It's absolutely fine. Sounds like a challenge to me. <laughs> now we know how we'll fill the last half hour of this event. Different conversation. Different that's conversation the, starts. That's the secret greeting among Mike Furman fans. <laughs> All right. We're moving on now to the third and final category of questions for our teams. This is called the Future Soon Questions about Joko 10, the 10th annual. Jonathan Colton Crazy Cruise that will take place in 2021. <laughs> the running joke meme for this cruise, of course, via Paul and Storm is X is my Y cover band. I'm sure none of you are tired of that yet. <laughs> what will be the running joke meme of Joe Code 10? last night and got out this morning. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Time. Time, All right now. <laughs> Time. Right? Yeah, seriously. Alright. Are we ready to my right? Do you have an answer? You mean that wasn't a Uh, lol cat bots? Lol cat bots. Can you, you, you know what that means? We got, we got nothing over here. Alright. <laughs> We're going to Hodgman. What'd you say? We're going to Hodgman. You're, you're, you're a second one. Please. Why were you guys just talking to each other that whole time? <laughs> It went like this. We were discussing Hodgman. Hodgman. Come on, earn that hat, John. And keep your answer to under 1,000 words. The correct answer. What was the question? The question was what will be the running joke meme for that? You know, the, instead of X is my Y cover band. Does it have to be in that format? No, it does not. It can be anything. Oh. <laughs> what time is it? It's uh, just shy of 10 o'clock. No, I refuse you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. Whoa. All right, you guys are on your own. Okay. We'd like to change our answer to the ninth anniversary of Peter Sagal's unanswerable question. <laughs> 
Where were you? <laughs> Peter, what happens just now when John refused to I, I got John is his own we question. Don't, we don't, they got an answer. They got an answer. Yeah. Yeah. So counts as you. We're de Hodgmanizing. All right. Okay. Um, we're going to Hodgman is the name of my what is the meme of the 2011 Joko <laughs> Cruise cover band? Bots. <laughs> Which will be terrifically hilarious at the time because we will all have been enslaved by Colton's sentient beard by then. And it will be the only way we can communicate to each other uh, without being flogged by said beard. You've been up all night, haven't you? Eh, since about three. All right. What I have is that the meme will be X is my Y cover band is my Z cover band. I got it was a stupid question, I think is what we now have. We so know, maybe we overthought it a little bit. Wesley yeah. Crusher, Crusher, Crushers. For the right, the boss. For the right. No, no, to the left, these guys, because Wesley Crusher. So, all right. We can only hope that uh, cover band jokes will be outlawed by that. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who will be the stock's gonna be five minutes long if we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Who will be the biggest celebrity? on Joko 10. Who will be the biggest celebrity on Joko 10? Tracy. Tracy, yeah. The real draw. Famous Tracy. Famous Tracy, riding on the boat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Single is gone. He's, he's vomiting in the behind the curtain. Is he okay? He's getting something. He's getting something from that stage. Oh my god. Pay no attention to the NPR host behind the curtain. <laughs> Alright, we have an answer. What? The biggest celebrity ten years hence will be Justin Long. <laughs> Justin Long. That is correct. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Endorsed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it will be an Asian Justin Wong impersonator <laughs> named Justin Wong. <laughs> it's going to be a really terrible cruise. <laughs> he lives on the boat. No, the, the, the correct answer is obvious. The biggest celebrity will be, of course, Will Wheaton. Because who's bigger? I'm sorry. Pandering. <laughs> Wesley Crusher, Crushers. It'll, it will actually be the thumb drive containing the consciousness of Ray Kurzweil. <laughs> Wesley Crusher Crushers, two points. All right, here's the, here's the uh, last question in this round. What will be the cruise route of Joko 10? The cruise route, where will it go? Oh, in 2021. What year was 2000? It'll be 10 years from now, so yeah. since the first one is in 2011, it's futuristic as that sounds to me. 2021 will be the date of the 10th annual Joko Cruise Crazy. The river of We're ready. burning fire. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Let, ready. Let him think. Let him think. The Wesley Crusher Crusher Crushers are as primed as a 17-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got gross so. and inappropriate. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> All right. I like to think that's her response to funny things. She has hits. I know somebody who, when you said something funny to them, would just stare at you and go, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. That's really funny. All right. So do you guys have an answer? Yeah. Will. Um, of course, the, the main stop will be Kairoth Beta Prime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but the boat on the way will stop at Half Moon K. <laughs> Half Moon K. Galaxy. And, 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 we'll, and we'll also stop at Jamaica so that we can uh, give a lot of tips to people um, to express our pleasure at being harassed by them uh, as we attempt to cross the street. 
Yeah, fucking Jamaica. What's the question? <laughs> I'm glad I gave that island a middle finger as we towed it away. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, that's what's painted on the back of the boat, by the way. So whenever we meet the place, you can go there. Holy crap! actually threatened with retribution by one of the people they made fun of. Who was that person? Violent retribution. Violent retribution. All right, we have somebody here. Oh, I saw first. Uh, somebody in the back. Uh, I, I happen to see you first. Go ahead. Joe Don Baker, star of Walking Tall. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. Well done, sir. So tell me uh, what happened. Um, we made fun of him in a movie called Mitchell. Essentially, we reduced his entire performance to eating and farting and burping. And uh, inability to run. As a matter of fact, we wrote a song in a heart pounding, head sweating, Mitchell, because it was a waka waka theme. Yeah, yeah. Well, he caught wind of this apparently and, uh, and said to Mike Weaver. Caught wind of it? That's a smell reference, Mike. You wouldn't understand. Oh. I'm going. And uh, the words were, quote, uh, kick our ass, is what he said. Yes. He's going to kick your He's ass. He's going to kick our ass. We figured that he'd take a swing and he'd spill his drink and trip over his arm candy and fall on the floor, so it wouldn't have been a big contest for us. Did he, did he call you up or did he uh, show We heard it indirectly, oh, okay. but you know, rumors are always better than the truth anyway. <laughs> That's great, so, but, but apparently you told me last night that some other people have appreciated your efforts. We have. Uh, uh, Miles O'Keefe, who started A4. Um, 
Miles. Miles of there are miles and miles of Keith, as a matter of fact. Yes, uh, uh, Mike Nelson had a beer with him afterwards and said how much he had told him how much he had enjoyed us making fun of him. And was he was he Tarzan in that? Yes, in the Bo Derek. With Bo Derek, yes. Right. Yes, he was. Right. All right. Now this is the last question. In my hand, I'm sorry about this, but this is the last one. Uh, in my hand is a bag of Jamaican coconut candy, open parenthesis, Busta, close parenthesis. It's from the Busta Man. Oh, is that those garbage treats from Shit Isle? <laughs> The ingredients are, I just want everybody to know here, in case there are allergies or concerns about your safety, the ingredients are shredded coconut, ginger, vanilla sugar, molasses, nutmeg, salt, and citric acid. I'm going to distribute one to each player. <laughs> citric acid, I like this. I a lot of fucking nerds. And the rage of John Hodgman. <laughs> Do I have to eat this now? Well, you only have to eat it in case You immediately grow dreads upon eating these. Yeah, he's going to demonstrate. We were in the supermarket, uh, Beth and I, uh, in uh, Ocho Rios, or as David, your art director, calls it, Ochi. And uh, we're like, oh, let's buy some postcards in here. Is it, here's a natural local product that I shall purchase. Uh, and so the correct, the question is, everybody has to take it, try it and uh, most accurately describe its taste. <laughs> this, is, this is for all the marbles, so. Like 90% pot, isn't it? Yeah. I can't really describe to the audience the unsettling way that this is sticking to the paper. Yeah. <laughs> Are these fresh? <laughs> it does not seem like they're very fresh. Um, yeah, I, I, all I can tell you is I bought them when we were in, uh, when, were we, when were we in Jamaica? Two days ago. Wednesday. Bought them in the supermarket there. I honestly can't bite into mine. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm just testing. This is what they were like when I bought them. So, if you're like. <laughs> oh, oh. It's for the best. It's, it's only going to improve the flavor. Right? <laughs> Mine tastes like stage. Who's <laughs> that guy in his pajamas right there? What is going on? Guys, Storm's got a problem over here. <laughs> well, I have more. <laughs> Like super boom. <laughs> Many a filling was lost back then. Somebody prepare the infirmary, would you? He's trying to kill you all! Well, I have one. Just to it's not that bad. Okay. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It tastes like something that if you bought it at Whole Foods, it would cost like $7 for <laughs> one. Natural antioxidant. Right. Natural that's made of rocks. Do I have an answer? It tastes like Iocane powder. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's like Ziggy okay. Marley's feet. <laughs> it tastes like a malted hot fudge sundae prepared by someone who was really high. <laughs> Can we just say it tastes like regret? Is this an answer answers for everyone? No, no, no. I mean, I think I, 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 I want to get some teams or what? There was, uh, there's, there's an extra the anti lightning round. <laughs> yeah. Hotman, did you try it? No way. <laughs> Falling for your murder cruise, <laughs> but it's but it's Jamaican. <laughs> it tastes like it smells, kind of, right? Yeah. You think this is the first time someone's trying to poison me, Peter Sagal? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with uh, Mike Furman's description, which is bark and weaponry. <laughs> I have no answer. I, uh, this is beyond.
on my experience. So, by the way, uh, Bark and Weaponry is also the name of our Guns N' Roses tribute. Band. Yeah. Hey, David, David, did you eat one? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it, it tastes like health food. Oh. <laughs> People the, are cultural imperialists. <laughs> Just eat, eat their products and enjoy it. It's like you're in fucking Jamaica for God's sake. <laughs> it's amazing. Question. <laughs> it's free stuff from Jamaica. <laughs> it's good, it's from Jamaica. Shut up. To me, like yeah. that. to me it tastes like the sentence, why are you giving us the finger? We're just trying to give you candy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so a judgment at all, at all you're just refusing to indulge in this? Or did you pass out? I only heard one team's answer. Oh no, we had oh. Uh, to us, it tasted like uh, burnt beard hair blended with ganja. <laughs> burnt beard hair. Beard hair, yeah. Right. A little ginger, but mainly beard, burnt beard hair. Red beard. Yeah. Say, but what's your, what's your... I, I, this, 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 I, this, I, that's why I brought it, because I didn't know. The candy was really beyond my experience, so I wanted to find out. So I don't have an answer. The correct answer is, it tastes a little bit like coconut. One final answer. You may. Because I did taste it. Yeah. To me, it, it tastes like a Luna bar that isn't white enough for you people. <laughs> Thank you, John. That's what I was trying to say. You know, for, for you people, people, it really has like a little bit of liberal guilt on the nose. <laughs> And it, and, it, and it finishes with like a, with a donation to a multicultural organization. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's very relaxing. Oh, there's a poison. <laughs> Actually, that's going to be the running meme of yeah. the 2000s. Oh, there's the poison. <laughs> oh, there's the poison. Oh, no. So, uh, uh, we need a final score. Well, oh, yeah, what is the final score? What is the final score? Yeah, I have it, but what's the, what, what, who won? Who won? points. I mean, For that last round. First, first tell us who won, then I'll give you the final score. Hodgman, five points. Hodgman, five points. Hodgman, five points. Yeah.